Hi guys, so welcome back to Radio the channel. Welcome to episode 24 in the Freedom series. Now, in the last episode, we talked about the activity log and we asked you to look at the way you spend your days. 168 hours, which is 7 days a week by 24 hours a day. And the question we want to ask ourselves in this video is, am I making optimal use of time? Am I making the best use of time? Or is it at some point, is there some point where I'm using time towards a low yield and I can use my time towards an improved yield? Every single day, you're going to have 24 hours, seven days for the week. And you're going to spend those 24 hours, seven days for the week in one way or another. Am I using time in a manner, am I spending spending those 168 hours in a manner that will allow for me to achieve my financial well-being goals. So remember in a previous video we talked about basic requirements for success. If you haven't seen that video you can go check it out. Basic requirements for success. And we talked about there will be an outcome requirement which is our goal, the results that we're after. We said there will be a material requirement. Now I have there, there are certain things that I will be spending money on. Am I spending money in a manner that would allow me to have those things that increase the likelihood of achieving my financial well-being goals? Or am I not doing that? Am I using my money in a way that would provide an optimal yield based on results that I'm after? Or am I not using my finances in that way? One of the things you might need to do is, of course, create a budget and look at your budget. Look at the way that you're spending money and ask yourself if you're spending money in an optimal way. And look at your activity log and see the times when you do not spend money in an optimal way. See the decisions that you're making, the things that you're doing. And try to remove those things from your activity log, even if it's just for the time being. Remove those things because, remember we said, those things that matter most must never be held at the mercy of those things that matter least. What are you doing with your time that you're using material resources that could go to better use, including your finances? Now we also talk about, in terms of requirement, we talk about the knowledge, skills, and abilities requirement. Are you improving in terms of the knowledge that you're supposed to have that will take you in the direction of your financial well-being? Are you improving in terms of your skills or the abilities that you need to have? Do you know all that you need to know about your industry, your product, the service that you're providing? Do you have these skills that will allow you to sell your product with confidence, that will allow you to interact with others in the ways that you're supposed to interact? Do you have the people skills or the soft skills that are necessary? Do you have the hard skills that are necessary? When you look at your activity log, is there a way you could take time away from a less than optimal activity and begin giving time to the ways that you need to develop in terms of your knowledge, skills, and abilities? Is there a way to take time away from, from minor things and give time to those things that we consider major? One of the worst things we can do is try to major in the minor. Look at your activity log and see to what extent you can do that. In terms of your attitude and your behavior, are you becoming the kind of individual? Do you have the patience? My father used to say, patience is not just waiting because you have to wait and how you take it. Patience is how you behave while, you, while you're waiting. Do you have the patience? Are, are, you, you, are you confident in the things that you're doing that the results will come? Are you patient? Are you persistent? And patience, of course, will fuel persistence. Are you an individual who's willing to persist and to, let it take as long as it needs to in order to get the results that you after. Am I the kind of individual that would commit to, as Tony Robbins say, constant and never-ending improvement? Can I? Am I that kind of individual? What do I need to do in terms of the way that I use time to continually improve my prospect of achieving those things that I'm after? What do I need to do to become the kind of individual who people would be willing to take a chance on 
as I aspire towards my financial goals. Grant Cardone said this. He said, work as hard on yourself to encourage people to be willing to take a chance on you and then ask them to take that chance. And of course, not just in terms of your financial well-being, in terms of your product, in terms of any aspect of yourself. Work hard on yourself such that you could ask your ideal partner to um, take a chance on, on you in terms of a relationship. Work hard on yourself such that you could ask a financial institution to take a, a chance on you in terms of funding your ideas. Work hard on yourself such that people are willing to take certain kinds of chances that would amalgamate to what you're after. And how we operate in terms of the activity log, we use three terms. Unfreeze, move, refreeze. When you look at your activity log and you realize there are certain things that you should not be doing, make the bold decision to unfreeze, destabilize these things, remove them from your way of doing things. Unfreeze those things. Move to a higher level of functioning. Identify those things that will produce better results for you. Make the decision to begin functioning at that level and refreeze. Make that your new way of spending your 168 hours at a time. See you.